Hey everybody, it's Big Dick Hunter from the Wild Ass Circus. Heard weeknights, 10 p.m. to midnight, and this week, a series of very special Wild Ass Circuses as we are broadcasting live all week long from the Adult Video News Awards in Sin City. It's been an entire week of fun, everything from uh, hustler, entrepreneur, and First Amendment freedom fighter Larry Flint talking about the nuances between Barack Obama and Dennis Kucinich, all the way to porn superstars like Belladonna telling us about how her husband likes to watch her screw other guys. But tonight, we are in the Hugh Hefner suite at the very top of the Palms Casino. You can uh, see the view, the uh, pool that hangs off the ledge of the Palms Casino. No matter how nice it is, my fear of heights prevents me from taking a dip. Uh, but that's okay because we have more important uh, matters to attend to here in the Hugh Hefner suite at uh, the Palms Casino, like this, a tandem interview between the biggest adult film star quite possibly in the history of the genre, Jenna Jameson, and her UFC tough guy boyfriend, Tito Ortiz. Enjoy. It's Big Dick's Wild Ass Circus on the road at the AVN Awards, and uh, we're in the Hugh Hefner penthouse suite with not only Jenna Jameson from Club Jenna, but her man, Tito Ortiz, UFC veteran. So we're getting two for the price of one here. This right is on. exciting. Yeah. Fun, baby. Because I'm, I'm a fan of porn and mixed martial arts. So this is a... If it goes hand in hand. Like, it's awesome. There's aggression and there's... Sex. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what we should have done? We should have made that stipulation that, that any adult film actress we interviewed should have brought her own mixed martial arts fighter. See, that would have been a very good yeah, Jenna, Jenna picked the best one in the world, so I'm smart. Uh, how can uh -huh. I complain? Well, I've, uh, Jenna, I've seen a lot of your films, and Tito, I've been at a lot of your fights. Let, let me start uh, here since we're in Las Vegas, Jenna. You know, uh, reading your, your book, your autobiography, there was a lot, you know, a lot of those early days start in Las Vegas, so it yeah. kind of comes full circle. I was born circle. here, right? Yeah, right. And, and so, so here you are. Uh, I mean, what is Vegas like no other town when it comes to really representing your story? Your well, there's special? really nothing like Vegas. Anybody who's been here knows that this is where sin starts and pleasure ends. Mm -hmm. Really. And I just made that up right now. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm good at what I do. So That's all you do. I'm, I'm serious. Vegas is really where everybody comes to let loose and have fun. And I just happen to be from here. And we spent a lot of time here. He we fights met here. here, actually. Mm -hmm. We met here. Yeah. It's yeah. almost two years now. And well, you know, I think, good. I, I think the two of you have something uh, in, in common here. And, that you know, Jenna, I think your path in adult films, if you really uh, look at the scope of it, you, you had a vision from the very beginning. I mean, now, you know, a lot of girls will make mistakes. I mean, it seemed like you, every move was pretty calculated. Tito, really, one of the first, uh, how say, household well, names in mixed well, martial arts. Actually, you said you read her book, so yep. my book comes in man. You want to say wow? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah. There's, well, a, we got, there's a big association between both of us. You know, we came from shit and we achieved a lot in our lives, and yeah. we made the best of what we can do. We got to this point of our lives, and it's, it's awesome. I found an awesome woman who's, you know, I'm very proud of. When I walk around, I'm proud of my woman. You know, and she's an awesome chick, and I worked my ass out to get where I am. You know, I came from the streets. My parents being drug addicts, and you know, I, I came a lot from where I am when I was a young kid. You know, I went to college, got educated, and you know, I, I turned a a, a name into an icon, you know, yeah. it's, it's awesome to see him. Me and her, you know, we're like we song pepper, man. It, do, it's awesome. do, how do you guys relate on a business level? Because I really do see that in common between the two of you. You know, your career paths and the way that you market yourself. You know, it really comes down to making the right decision. That's what mm -hmm. it really comes down with, you know. And both of us, we have, you know, intelligent minds. You know, intelligent minds think alike. And, you know, when it comes out to something we want to do, we go 100% with our heart. And, you know, we have great fans that support us. And it's just it's not happy to see that. You know, it's really nice to see that. You know, the 10 years of my occupational fight and then her 10 years of uh, what she's been doing. And, uh, I like the whole 10-year thing. It might be 15. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not saying. Well, is, is that something you noticed about Tito? I mean, his business acumen and the way that he marketed himself as a mixed martial arts fighter, something you could relate to from your business? Well, obviously, I could relate to it and I, and I, Plus I, I, I can there. witness it. <laughs> I, I witnessed that he he's he's very business-minded, but that wasn't what attracted me to him. He, he's, he's a good man. He's a he's a sensitive man and he, and he's he's loving and that was the most important to me. I've I've had my share of guys that uh, leeched off me and were and tried to um, you know use my name mm -hmm. to their benefit and, and it's nice to have a man that that really loves me for me and he's that man. 
you know, what about the way, and you know, I was at the convention today, we're doing our show live from out here all week long. You know, 25th uh, anniversary of the AVNs, I mean, this thing Isn't has grown, fun? it's grown so huge, you know? I mean, yeah. what? It's if you like awesome. not watch porn, it's right. really sad. Well, it's the thing is, we're right. people admitting yeah. it than ever before. I can't yeah. yeah. watch it. So what from your <laughs> perspective, from the first AVN to the one that you're at now, I mean, your personal perspective well, of how you've seen that grow? I, I actually started signing here when I was 18 years old. And I saw it grow for some, from something very, very small. I mean, literally, there were probably 200 people at the convention. And now I look out across the legions of fans of 5,000 strong. And I'm out on the red carpet. And it's like the Oscars. It's, it's like the Golden Globes. And it, it's exciting for me. I feel like I've kind of been the person that was at the forefront of pushing it mainstream. Mm -hmm. And... Um, it's kind of fun for me now that I've I've kind of stepped away from doing adult and 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 I'm able to kind of do the whole mainstream thing. It's exciting. It's fun for me. And seeing all the little young girls come up yeah. and be like, I want to be like you, Jenna. Yeah. Like, oh uh, yeah, you may want to like throw Rethink some yourself. lip gloss on that. Bitch. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, and and with with Tito Ortiz standing here, I mean, much like uh, the adult film industry has grown and the avians have gotten bigger and bigger. I mean, you know, you've seen the explosion in mixed martial arts. There's so can you can you definitely see a correlation? Of well, there's a huge correlation. I mean, I remember back in '97, I, my first avian I went to with Rob Black uh, back in the day, and oh he was one of my main sponsors. It's kind of funny, but now that I see you know mixed martial arts from when it first began, where there was only you know. Uh, 10,000 pay per view buys. Now we're getting millions of pay per view buys, and the attendance that are, you know, we're selling at arenas who are 16,000 seat arenas, and I sell it out within the week, and it's awesome to see that. And, uh, you know, I think we're both expanding, and you know, there's nothing better that people love is violence and sex. I love it, that's why I do it at least. You know? And I can't get any better with a beautiful woman like Jenna. You know? Thank God she retired, she's done, she's mine for life, so I'm happy, man. It's awesome to see it.